Now, even creatives, they need an element of business savvy to turn their good ideas into lucrative projects. Now, Tenji took some great entrepreneurial pointers from Luyanda Madonia. Of course, that's the daughter of music moguls, Sipo and Velile Sitole, who chose to make her mark in the world of fashion. Whether they're building a cool app, developing a public service, or opening a store, entrepreneurs have different processes, but they all experience similar highs and lows along their journey. And one way that they can get along is by gleaning lessons from each other's success stories. And so I'm going to pick the brain of one fashion entrepreneur whose career is on a meteoric rise. Studying and working in the bustling music and fashion industries of Los Angeles inspired Luanda Madonia to start online fashion boutique Revolt Clothing, a passion project which brought her home. For a lot of entrepreneurs, fear is a huge obstacle for them. Were you afraid of anything in particular and how did you access your support system to help you get over it? A fear of mine that's still happening is probably solely doing this, not having other income from other places. I think any entrepreneur is just waiting for the day that their business can fund themselves. Rent, car, etc. stuff like that. Lights, cameras, studio hire, website fees and salaries. An operation like this does not come cheap. So financial planning is a very important part of the journey, even when you're having fun. Managing money is a huge thing about being an entrepreneur. And I think the first step that any accountant is going to tell you is to get a business account and put all of your expenses and the money that you get in, obviously, through your business account. If you have to pay a model or a photographer or anything like that, do it from your business account. It's going to help you with the accounting later on when you got to do those taxes. Luyanda hopes her collection will be a gateway to international trends for local, fun, fearless fashion lovers. Today we are doing a fashion shoot for the new collection for Autumn Winter and I'm really excited about it because it's a really great time in fashion when it becomes winter. We can layer pieces and it's awesome to see how the different styling can come together. Instead of just wearing a dress, you can wear a dress with leggings, you know, so it's really exciting to express yourself. And it's really important to have a great team behind you. I mean, the makeup artists, the models, the photographers, and the jewelry I'm collaborating with a friend. I think it's just a very great space for black women to come together, collaborate, and make something awesome. My job here basically today is to be the makeup artist. I basically do the models and make them look as beautiful as the clothes. And I've been working in big sets and it's quite nice actually coming to such a refreshing and chilled vibe. And it's quite refreshing seeing such a young artist or entrepreneur making it this big. So I'm actually inspired and quite inspired to be in such a set. I friends really proud of her. Yeah. I mean, for something that she once spoke about in high school, you know, I don't think we all thought she would actually do it and actually be serious and actually be like, guys, got a line, it's coming out, this is what's happening. And she started from, you know, when she was in LA and then by the time she came back to South Africa, it yeah, just basically blew up. up. Yeah. Turning a dream into a sustainable business plan which empowers other women breathes life into the saying, sisters are doing it for themselves. I must tell you, it is so invigorating being in a space completely run by black women, using the expertise to build each other up. This is exactly the kind of business leadership we need in our industries. So watch out, world. Luyanda is coming in full force. <laughs>